Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to do something different. I mean I will do my makeup. I did this makeup but I won't go in depth um, on how I do this makeup. I'll show you and I'll link the products below but I won't talk about it. Today I want to talk about a more complex issue and that is the current normalization of um, fillers, Botox and cosmetic surgery that you know is very much going on um, <laughs> in our society today and that feels very much present um, due to social media. And so if you feel like that is a subject that you want to just hear more about, please keep on watching. Please maybe even subscribe. I don't know. Maybe like the video, whatever you want. So just before I get into my thoughts um, and my reflections, I, there's one thing that I cannot highlight enough. I really, 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 really want everyone to understand that this is not a video uh, that is hateful, judgmental, or in any way negative towards people who do choose to do fillers, Botox, or cosmetic surgery. This is a video where I want to bring up the structural issues and the fact that 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 these are results of um, systematical oppression and uh, control of women. So that is the perspective that we're keeping today, and please keep that in mind. Anything that is hateful or negative or, or just you know judgmental in the comment section will be removed. And you might even be blocked. I don't think you want that because this is an awesome channel. But I do, however, encourage, I encourage you to please share your thoughts. If this um, perspective is new to you, if you know you have additional information or reflections or anything of a subject that maybe is close to this one, please, please, please um, comment and let's have, let's have a discussion. I think that we need to. We need to start looking at or on at this issue from another perspective that is not pointing out certain influential people as the issue. So let's get into the video. You know, we, we live in a, in a bullshit sexist world where women are uh, made to believe that we, our biggest value lays in our exterior and the way that we look. And unfortunately, on top of that, the beauty standard or what we strive towards is basically unachievable. Even though there is a lot more diversity when it comes to all types of advertising nowadays, I feel like there's still so much pressure, there's still so many unrealistic, unachievable beauty standards out there that is just, there's still so much pressure on us to look perfect. The thing is, it's only human nature to want to look our best and to want to be attractive. It's, you know, it's about mating. It's making sure that your genes survive. Genes? Genes. You know what I mean? And so it's not weird at all that we want to look our best. It's, 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 it's very much not strange. The issue is the fact that it's not equal between the sexes. You know, the expectations on men and women are very different. Uh, women have to live up to a very, very, very narrow beauty standard that amongst other things mean that we need to stay young, we need to look fresh, we need to be uh, as thin as possible, we need to have as thick hair as possible. Like there's so many things that us as women need to live up to when it comes to our um, exterior. And as these beauty standards get um, more and more extreme, us as women, we take more extreme measurements when it comes to altering ourselves. By the way, I got a tip to watch Sean Kilborn's documentary called Killing Us Softly on, Inst uh, on YouTube. I'll link it below. If you sort of feel like you need a crash course on how women are portrayed um, in advertising and what that essentially uh, how much that affects us and what that means to our self-esteem. Um, you should really go watch that. It's a 45 minute documentary. Yeah, so as if the situation that I just explained isn't f***ed up enough, there's another just annoying layer to the subject. And that is the fact 
that there's so much shame around these procedures. So if a celebrity or an influencer has work done on their face or on their body, they are likely not to tell you about it because the judgment that they will receive, it's, it's, it's one of the probably hardest things to deal uh, with. And I think that a lot of influential women don't share these things or choose not to share these things is also because they are very young. Um, take Kylie Jenner for an example. As I said, just an example. She was what? I don't know, 10 years old when the family got famous and she was always marked this, you know, the ugly duckling of the family. So no wonder she chose to basically change her whole face and her whole body. You know, it's, I think that uh, most of us, if we grew up being her or just anywhere close to the situation and the life that she has grown up in, we would do the same thing. I mean, how can we expect influential women to be open and honest about those things when they're not even like telling their partners like you know every one of us knows this woman who like goes and get botox done or fillers done and she's like oh my god i'm so afraid to tell my husband like you know it's I, it's not it's it's normal it's completely normal unfortunately it just makes me so upset because it's not only even like, oh, you're supposed to look like this magical, skinny creature of another magical planet, but don't you dare try to achieve that by paying for it. Don't you dare. The only way we will accept this perfection is if you look like that naturally. Newsflash, you can't look like that naturally. So, what a fucking situation we live in. The conclusion is just, Damned if you do, damned if you don't. And what is the result of all these young celebrities and all these young influencers doing these uh, procedures and not disclosing them? Well, I think that you can figure that one out of yourself. It creates self-esteem issues. It creates self-confidence issues. It creates um, a world of people who are insecure and they only put even more value to their exterior instead of other things um, in their life and what they're capable of, etc. It just leads to, you know, more insecurities and even more extreme ideals of, or beauty standards. And just one of, one of the worst things about this subject, oh, I don't, I don't even wanna, I'm just gonna tap into it. Facial features and body types are becoming trends. So our bodies, our vessels, are becoming fast fashion. So, you know, let's take, of course, the Kardashian-Jenner family, for instance. So, I don't, I don't think any of us can even imagine growing up being Kylie Jenner, but unfortunately, in this fucked up world we live in, she got the Ugly Duckling um, stamp on her. And then she, at a very young age, started altering her face, her body, etc. I think it's so scary. I think I've mentioned this on my Instagram before, but I think it's so scary that she got her lips done for a while. She took out the lip fillers because she was tired of it. Then the next day you would see her having a very huge bottom lip with like a crease in it. And then another scary thing started happening. Like all her friends starting to look like her. Like for example, look at this picture of her and her friend. Um, you know, yes, they're wearing kind of the same outfit. They have probably um, face tuned their bodies. So they may not look identical in real life. Fuck, man, do you not get the chills when you see this photo? I get the chills because they have the exact same body. It freaks me out. It freaks me out that people are starting to morph into this one beauty ideal with the help of fillers, Botox, and cosmetic surgery. It's like, you know, our bodies are becoming this thing. It's it's an accessory, it's an it's, um, object that is changeable and replaceable and um, that it's a very dangerous world. It's an extreme level of objectification of women's bodies and it can only unfortunately do harm. Jean Kilborn says that in her um, documentary that the issue with objectification is that it dehumanizes the, the person and 
that means that it's so much easier to be violent towards that person. So that is why it is dangerous. And you know, there's a lot of men being objectified out there too. Um, but the, the, the difference is that men are not anywhere near as likely to be raped, beaten, murdered by the other sex. At least not white um, straight men. It's just, it's, <laughs> it's not a world that I signed up for, frankly. The truth is that, you know, women, we get rewarded for staying young. We, we dye our hair to lose the grays. We do Botox and fillers to lose our wrinkles. We do chemical peels to keep our skin glowing. We wear makeup to look fresh and awake. We shave our bodies so that they're hairless. Female bodies have body hair. Children don't. So that's another, um, you know, train of thought that I could just fully go into, but I'm not going to. And you know, all these, these rules, we need to start realizing that they are made up. They are made up in order to control us. So for example, like, oh, uh, men age like fine wine, but women don't. It's bullshit. It's made up. It's not real. And we believe in it because we live in a world where we're made to believe in it, but it's not true. And you know, the reason why I hate that expression so much is frankly, and it's also one of the reasons why I'm here today talking about the subject. I've had this, I've had this reoccurring camper showing up um, on my, my forehead. Um, it's a wrinkle that comes and goes depending on, you know, the weather, how cold it is, how much I've taken care of my skin, etc., etc. But now it's sort of um, made a permanent living situation on my face. So I woke up the other day and I realized it. I was like, you know, I don't think you can see it now on camera because it's, it's, it's a very small, non-noticeable wrinkle. And the first thing that came up in my mind was, okay, what do I do about this? How do I solve this? I'm gonna get Botox. But I think that just there's so many of us that first of all need to understand the issues of, of, of this being a systematical control from the patriarchy and that we need to stop blaming individuals. So I think that like the step of like stop doing these things, it's, it's extremely tough to break away from. Um, and it's extre just extremely tough to break away from even falling into those thoughts like I did. Like, you know, well, just don't do it. Just don't do Botox. Just don't do fillers. You don't have to. It's weird that like us, the victims of depression, you know, we, we get put into the situation, this very troublesome, um, complex situation and then what we're expected to just solve it ourselves but on the other hand it's like who's gonna solve it if we don't you know who's gonna who's gonna talk about it who's gonna analyze it who's gonna um stop us from going in these extreme directions that we're heading right now the men won't do it <laughs> you know sure as hell the white straight middle-aged men won't do it so I'm gonna go do my base and I'll be back to finish off this video. This is the finished look. So, will I get Botox to remove this little friend I've got up here? Um, I don't know. I haven't decided. If one thing I, that I am sure of if that, is that if, if I do it, I will share it, of course. Um, if I don't do it, I'll keep you posted too. Thanks for 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 um, joining it, and I'll see you next time.